All right, so next week we're going to be doing a lab that involves bioinformatics. Now, bioinformatics um, is a field of study that involves statistics and computer science put together to analyze biological data. Um, and one of the most important and powerful tools that we have in bioinformatics today is a database called BLAST. <laughs> No, not that kind of blaster. Which stands for Basic Local Alignment Search Tool. So in BLAST, you can input a gene sequence of interest, and then it'll search for genomes and compare them in a matter of seconds. It's very cool. So um, BLAST is a part of GeneBank, which is a public collection of nucleotide and amino acid sequences presented by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, NCBI, right here. Um, and it's part of the U.S. and National Institutes of Health, so NIH. And the collection has been built by individual researchers as well as large-scale sequencing centers, many millions of sequences from thousands of organisms since they created it in 1982. So each sequence um, that is submitted is, of course, reviewed or um, edited and annotated by the staff at NCBI. Um, and uh, it's submitted and then uh, uploaded for public access. So today the database is growing um, an exponential rate doubles, they say it doubles about every 18 months, and it's both um, used and contributed to by scientists from all over the world. So in the laboratory investigation we're going to do next week, we're going to use BLAST to analyze several different genes and then use that information to construct some cladograms or phylogenetic trees. Okay, so the first thing you do is click on Save Strategies, then go to Choose File and locate one of the gene files you saved on your computer. And then click View, and a second screen is going to appear with the parameters for your query that are already configured. So you don't mess with any of these. You just scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Blast. And you'll click on Blast. And then it'll take a few minutes to configure because it's searching through a lot of databases. And then you'll have all your information. So let's talk about how we're going to analyze these. You scroll down to the section, Sequences Producing Significant Alignments. And the list of organisms that appear below are those with the sequences identical to most or most similar to the gene that you have of interest. So this first one is 100%. And if you click on it, it'll actually go and show you the gene. Now this particular organism will probably be listed with its scientific name up here, Gallus gallus, um, and we might know what that is. So if you're curious, you can just do a quick Google search, look for it, and it looks like it's a chicken, Gallus gallus domesticus. Okay, so let's go back to our BLAST database. Okay, so right here we see all the sequence of bases that appear to align with our gene of interest, um, but if we click on this reference number, we'll be taken to the species classification scheme, and we'll have listed the research journal that the gene was first reported in. Um, this gene is collagen, so it appears in the tissues of um, lots of different animals. And you can see all the authors, and you know maybe it was published in more than one um, journal. So we can look at all that information here. So if we go back to our main page, we can look again at the list, and it'll list all the organisms that have genes similar to our gene of interest, and we can match those up by percentages. So click on at the top, Distance Tree of Results, and there we're going to see a cladogram with um, the species with similar sequences to our gene of interest placed on the cladogram according to how closely the match gene aligns with ours. And there it is, that yellow one. And you can click on it, and there's a way to expand the cladogram and look a little bit closely, but we can see the closest organism, again, on our cladogram is our chicken gallus gallus. So as we do each BLAST query, remember we're doing four different genes, you want to think about the following questions. Um, what species has the most similar gene sequence as our gene of interest? What is that species, where is that species located on our cladogram? And how similar is the sequence? Is it 100%? Is it 96%? And what species has the least similar gene sequence as our gene of interest? So you'll scroll all the way so to the bottom. So make sure you list. bookmark this video or just go back to Moodle when we're doing our lab next week. You'll be able to reference it if you get confused in the steps. It's not too difficult once you get a hang of it, but um, you'll have this video to reference in case you need a little bit more help uh, navigating BLAST. All right, so make sure you're taking all of the notes you can, and I will see you next week.